ask everybody if you please can make your way to the altar so we can pray before we start our service. Everybody. Amen. I want to invite you to stand up on your feet. And I want to thank you all for joining us this evening, whether you are in the building, in the sanctuary with us, or if you're watching online. I want to thank you all for joining us on our first all tonight. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, why don't you praise Him? Come on, why don't you clap your hands and lift your voice and praise the God of your salvation? Amen. I just want to encourage you if you are home and you're not able to be in the building with us tonight, I encourage you to begin to build an altar wherever you are in your home. Um, build an altar and create a space where the Holy Spirit can abide. And in this place, I want to encourage you two things. We have an altar here that you guys are more than welcome. I want to encourage you to come. Wear your mask, put your mask on, and come to the altar. Because not only will the fire of God meet you here, but we believe that there are streams there are streams at this altar and whatever you're needing, we believe that the Holy Spirit is going to meet you. So I want to encourage you to come to the altar. But also, I want to let you guys know that your voice has authority. God has given you authority on tonight. And so we are not here to watch someone pray, but we are here to engage together corporately in prayer. We are here to hear what uh, the agenda of heaven is and we're um, here to agree with it and pull it down into the earth, amen, to see it manifest. So if you are ready to praise and worship and pray, I want to hear you lift up a sound of worship to the Lord. Amen, lift up a sound of praise. Come on, praise the Lord at the level that you believe he's worthy. Come on, with the fruit of your lips, the Bible says shout unto God with a voice of triumph. So if you are triumphant in this place, come on, lift your voice. Jesus, we love you. We adore you. We are here for
for you, Lord God, and we put no one before you. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you come. Come on, don't let me pray for you. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit to come and meet you where you are. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, we ask that as sacrifices of praise and as sacrifices of worship are lifted to you on tonight, we ask that you would come and consume everything that's not like you on tonight. Holy Spirit, our hearts are yours. Our mouths are yours. Our spirits and our souls are yours. This service is yours. And we come to be changed by you on tonight. We come to be set free by you on tonight. We come to be delivered and um, and, and set on a path, Lord God, that will glorify you. Lord, we ask that your will be done in this place. May heaven's agenda be downloaded into the hearts, into the minds, into the ears of the people praying on tonight. In Jesus' name, may someone find voice in prayer. I thank you, Lord God, that you are given identity on tonight. And in Jesus' name, we will take back dominion from the enemy. I thank you, Father God, that we will join with heaven and heaven's agenda. Lord God, we will pray what you desire us to pray. We will, Lord God, contend for you what you want us to contend for. Father, we are here for you. If you are here for the Lord, why don't you lift up shouts of praise? Come on, come on, lift up shouts of praise. Jesus, we are here for you. We're here for you. Have your way in this place, Holy Spirit. This service is yours, and we give it back to you. May you be glorified with everything that is said, everything that is done, every praise that is given to you. Be glorified in it all, Jesus. Thank you. If you're ready to worship, come on, lift up a shout of praise to him. for what God is getting ready to do in this room on tonight. So typically when you're at a ball game, you're excited for what your team is about to do or you're at your child's event, there is typically a sound, whether they're in the middle, in the process of winning or they just won. So one more time, if you're excited for what God is getting ready to do in this room on tonight, I just want you to lift up a triumphant sound all over this building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we prepare to go into a time of worship, um, I just want to share something with you all really quick. Uh, about two weeks ago when we had our Monday night prayer here at the church, a pastor had us to do like an activation. It was an exercise, and he was teaching us um, the importance of a prayer. And he said a lot of times we can either fight from an offensive side or we can fight from a defensive side. So when he was talking about that, just like in a ball game, you can fight from the offensive side um, before a thing happens or you can fight after something happens. And a lot of times we find ourselves being in places where they, all, everything has broken loose, gone wrong in our families. We woke up, something's gone wrong in our lives, and then we begin to pray. And then we begin to travail, and then we're pressing in, and then we decide to pick up our weapons of war and fight, right? A lot of times it happens like that, but he was teaching us how we have the ability to uh, be one with heaven where we can literally hear what's on the mind of God and how he reveals even the things, uh, the hidden truths, the hidden truths and the things that we may come into. And on tonight, um, I just believe, I believe that on tonight that God, no matter where you find yourself, whether you're on the offensive side and you, you're praying uh, before the thing takes place or you are already in the middle of a situation or a trial, whatever is going on, I believe on tonight, either way, God has given us the tools to fight with. And that's with our praise, that's with our worship, that's with our shout, that's with our dance. And as we prepare on this night of just praying for this region, praying for this nation, the Lord just led me to this scripture. And I just want to read it really quick. It's just, it's just two verses. It's just two verses, Lord Jesus, right here. Yes, it's just two verses, and it's in Acts 16. And it's verses 25 and 26. And it says, and this is when Paul and Silas, they were thrown in prison after the situation happened with a girl of divination. They were, but they were thrown, in, thrown in jail. And it says, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns, much like what's happening on tonight, to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake 
that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came down. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came down. And I come to declare on tonight, no matter what area you may find chains, no matter the place of your imprisonment, and maybe it's not you, maybe it's your neighbor that's finding themselves in a prison on tonight. I believe just the same way that with Paul and silence, as they were praying and as they were singing hymns to God, that the angelic host of the Lord begin to work on their behalf. The same thing is happening in the room on tonight. So right now, right where you are, I just want you to begin to lift up your praise. I want you to begin to lift up your song as we choose the weapon of the war, of war as our song. Lord, we choose the weapon of war as our dance. Father, we choose the weapon of war on tonight as prayer. Lord, we choose the weapon of prayer on tonight. That's the way that we're going to fight no matter where we are in the battle. Lord, we declare that you are our sufficiency and you have already gone before us and even as we're worshiping you on tonight, Lord, we declare that encounters are happening that's causing prison doors all over this room, all over this region, all over this nation to be destroyed and to be overturned by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we honor you. I want you to lift up a sound of worship all over this room as the Spirit of God meets us where two or three are gathered in his name. There he is in the midst. So, Lord, we acknowledge your presence now, and we declare, Father, that this is how we fight our battles. Before the war comes, in the middle of the war, God, we declare that we will fight our battles with our hands lifted up, Jesus, with the song of praise and thanksgiving on our lips. Jesus, we choose to focus on you, for you are the author and the finisher of our faith, and we lean into you on tonight, Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing.
to this is how I this is how I find my man Tonight, we, we carry the assignment of an intercessor in this room. It's really not about you. Some people, we come to church and we become so selfish and we make church about us. But tonight's assignment, our gathering together, is for the purposes of affecting change in the realm of the spirit. Come on now. And I believe there are some things that need to be shifted. There's some things that need to be changed. And guess what? You and I can do it. God is giving us authority. He has given us dominion. He has given us power. And I'm telling you, when believers gather together and we use the authority that Jesus Christ has given us, we begin to see some things change. Amen? And I believe that's what's going to take place tonight. And I have a scripture I want to read. But before I do that, I want you for the next 30 seconds to lift your voice. And I want to use your voice. I need you to understand that everything in the kingdom is voice activated. Until there is a voice spoken, nothing moves. Until something is said, what, what, did, scripture, what did the scripture declare? Jesus taught them. He said, you will say to this mountain, be casted into the sea, and then you shall have what you, you have what you say. And so you've got to connect what you say with what you truly believe, and then we'll begin to see some things happen. And what I believe God's wanting to do right now is I believe there is a release right now in this atmosphere where the army of believers would lift up their voices, not just with noise, come on, but with faith. And God responds to faith. And so for the next 30 seconds, I want you to throw your hands up, and I want you to begin to lift your voice in this atmosphere. Come on, raise your expectation. Something is getting ready to happen. Something is getting ready to shift. Something is getting ready to move in the realm of the Spirit. Oh, come on, lift your voice right now. And I want you to praise Him at the level that you believe He's coming. At the level you believe He's getting ready to move in your situation, in your circumstance. Not just that, but in our city, in our region, in our nation. And we declare not on our watch. God, we declare shifting and changing over America. And we thank you, Lord, that tonight we believe in the power of your name and the authority that you have given us. And tonight we rise in authority. We rise in dominion. We rise and we pray and we praise from the seated place in Christ Jesus. Come on, church. 40 more seconds. Lift up your voice and I pray. Come on, church. that have taken place over the last few days uh, it's left so many doing so many different things but I want to exhort us tonight that our response is that of prayer hello our response is that of prayer we can't do nothing down here until we do something up there 
The war is in the heavenlies. Come on. The war is with things that we cannot see. Things that we cannot feel. Things that we cannot touch. The war is in the heavenlies. And I believe if the believers would get to that place and fight from that place, we'll begin to see some things change around here. But the scripture the Lord began to deal with me about, and he says this is where the body of Christ is. And it's Isaiah chapter number 62, verse number 6. On your walls, O Jerusalem, I have set watchmen all the day and all the night, and they shall never be silent. You who put the Lord in remembrance, take no rest. Come on, church. And give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it a praise in the earth. And I heard the Lord say, take no rest until something shifts. And I'm telling you, I've been praying on and off for the last two days. Just I've just been in the secret place, just praying in the sanctuary on my face before God because something has to change. Something has to shift. And I refuse to accept that this is the way it's going to be. Do I got anybody else in this room? I refuse to accept that it has to be this way. I want you to tell somebody around you, it's getting ready to change because I said so. Because I said so. Because I said so. Something has to change. And I'm not going to give heaven no rest until we see something move in the earth realm. Until we see something move in Washington. Until we see something move in our government. Tell somebody no rest, no rest, no rest, no rest, no rest. One more time, lift up your voice and shout in this room. My God. Come on, lift your voice, lift your voice. 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 Come on, I want you to speak in your heavenly language right now. We're getting ready to move. But I feel something moving. My, my, my. I feel something moving. 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 I in heaven, no rest, no rest, no rest. As we pray tonight, I want you to lose, use your voice. As we pray tonight, I want you to use your arrows. Ma, 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 ma. We want to invite Pastor to join us. And as we call us, this is a house of intercession. So every inch of this room can be walked, kneeled. My wife and I are going to be at this altar. You got prayer shawls, bottles of oil, whatever you have need of. I want you to bring them and I want you to lay them and let's pray. Let's not just watch her pray, but let's pray with her. As she comes, give God a shout in this room. Hallelujah. one more time lift your hands and just begin to open your mouth come on continue to release the sound of praise all over the room come on hallelujah come on all over the room hallelujah father we bless you tonight hmm. hey hallelujah we bless your name tonight our god come on y'all let's go hmm. ha. glory hallelujah father we bless your name tonight we give you glory we give you honor come on y'all this is what we came for father we lift you we magnify your name in this place tonight you are wonderful god 
You are holy God. You are worthy God. And we bless your name. You are holy God. You are worthy God. And we bless your name. You are holy God. You are worthy God. And we bless your name. There's none like our God. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. There's none like our God. And we bless your name tonight. We've come crying holy to the name. The only name that matters. We've come crying glory to the only name that matters. Father, we lift your name in this place tonight. Your name, God, is set apart. Your name, God, is high and lifted. Your name, God, is holy and righteous. And we come to give you glory. Come on, open your mouth. Father, before we ask you for anything, we lift our voices and give you everything. We owe you the glory. 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 Open your mouth. Come on. Give him what you owe him tonight. Give him what he deserves tonight. He deserves glory. He deserves glory. He deserves honor. Father, we come with worship. We come, God, with praise on our lips. We come giving you honor, God. No one is great like you. No one is faithful like you. No one has been consistent like you. Father, we owe you this praise. We owe you this praise. You're deserving of adoration for who you have been to us. You have been our God. You have been our dwelling place. You have been our helper. You have been our keeper. You've been our sustainer. And tonight we give you glory. Tonight God we say thank you. Thank you for how you provided. Thank you for how you've been protected. Thank you for how you've been sustainer. Father you brought us into another year. And for this we give you glory. We don't take life for granted. We don't take this moment for granted. God, somebody wanted to be here, but Father, they didn't make it. Somebody would love to be here now, but they're in their bed of affliction. Somebody would love to be here now, but God, they're not in their right mind. But you allowed us this moment. You allowed us this opportunity. So we've entered into your gates with thanksgiving. We've entered into your parts with praise. We are thankful tonight. We are thankful tonight. We are thankful tonight. We are thankful tonight. And we bless your name. Come on. Open your mouth and bless him. Clap your hands and bless him. We give you glory in this place. We give you honor in this place. We say thank you for everything. Because you told us in your word, Father, that in all things we ought to give thanks unto the Lord. For it's your will in Christ concerning us. So God, we say thank you. Come on, all over the world, clap your hands. Open your mouth and tell him thank you. We thank you for everything. What we understand. And even that which makes no sense. God, we give you thanks tonight. We thank you because you're good. 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 Clap your hands and give him thanks. Father, we bless you in this house. We give you glory and honor. We come adoring your name. We come with praise on our lips. We come with praise in our hearts. You are a good God. You are a consistent God. You are never failing God. And we praise your name. Your name is high and lifted. Your name is high and lifted. You're in a class all by yourself. Your name is high and lifted. You're in a class all by yourself. Holy are you, Lord God. And we come to bless you. Thank you for access tonight. Thank you for access tonight. Thank you for bidding us to come. Thank you for access tonight. Thank you for calling us here. Thank you for calling us together. We give you glory and we give you praise. And now, Father, as we come according to your word, Father, we thank you for access tonight. Thank you for access to the throne of grace. We thank you now, God, that as we come before you tonight, I pray God according to your word, that your eyes now be open and your ears be attentive unto the prayer that is made in this place. Father, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you will visit with us tonight as you visited when Solomon prayed, when they God dedicated the temple. Father, you release your glory. Father, you release your power. Father, you release your spirit. Father, you release your fire. Do it in this house tonight. Do it in this house tonight. Do it in this house tonight. Until we're not able to stand. Do it in this house tonight. 
is consumed. Do it in this place tonight until our wheel bows and we pick up your wheel. Come now in all of your glory. Come now in all of your power. Come now in all of your strength. Come now in all of your majesty. Sit in the midst of your people. We're longing for you tonight. Don't stand there looking at me. I need you to posture yourself. Get before the throne of God. We come for you, 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 God. Have your way in the road. Have your way in the road. Have your way in the road. Come on in the midst, God. Throw your way around. Throw your way around. Yes, sir. Throw your way around. Yes, Lord. Throw your way around. Come on in the room, God. We're longing for you to die. We're longing for you to die. In a trial and thirst in hell. We're longing for you to die. We're looking unto the hills from which comes our help. Our help comes from you, God. So tonight we lift up our heads. We lift up our heads. We're looking for our helper. We're looking for our savior. We're looking for our healer. We're looking for our way maker. We're looking for our chain breaker. We're looking up God. We're looking up God. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Father, that as we lift our eyes, let the King of Glory come in. 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 We bid you welcome. We bid you welcome. We bid you welcome. You're welcome in this place. Come now in the midst of us. God, you know what we want here. Father, you know what we need. God, you know what's on our heart. I pray now in Jesus' name that as we are postured in faith, believing according to your word, that what things soever we will ask and pray tonight, if we believe it, as we pray. It shall be done. I pray now in Jesus' name that whatever my brother needs, whatever my sister needs, come in and do it tonight. Come in and fix it tonight. Come in and change it tonight. Deliver in this room tonight. Set free in this house tonight. Every captive, release your young, destroy the anointed. Deliver God by your power. Break addictions in this place. Destroy yokes in this place. Break chains and fetters in this place. Do it by your power now. Deliver somebody's mind tonight. Deliver Deliver somebody's mind tonight. Somebody God has been depressed. Somebody's been wrestling with suicidal thoughts. But I pray strong God. Deliver now by your power. Deliver now. Deliver now. Deliver now. Deliver now. Come on, open up your mouth. Whatever area of your life you need God to deliver you in. I need you to know that that last muscle you have. Open up your mouth. I begin to cry out to God. Deliver, deliver. Deliver, deliver. Come on, strong God. Do it in Jesus' name. Deliver that one tonight who's been bound by torment, who's been bound tonight by the spirit of fear. Deliver, deliver. Deliver, 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 deliver. You are the Lord God. You deliver with your right hand the power. Bring us out tonight. Bring us out tonight. Lift us up, God. And bring us out tonight. Lift us up, God. And bring us out tonight. Deliver by your power. Deliver for your glory. Set every captive free. We pray in the name of Jesus. Deliver someone tonight from the consternation. Deliver someone tonight from being intimidated. Deliver somebody tonight from every hold up, from every spirit of God that has held them hostage. Break it by your power. We command deliverance now. We command deliverance now. Be set free. Be delivered. Be set free. Be delivered. Be set free. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and get it. Open your mouth and get it. We got somewhere to go, but you gotta get yours now. Open your mouth and get it. Come on, release a cry in here. Open up your mouth, release a cry in here. The hand of God touching now. I pray, Father, in 
Yourself. Open yourself to 
empower us, yeah, empower us, God, empower us with your spirit, do it in the name of Jesus, give us what we need, oh God, to fulfill the mandate you gave us, give us what we need, oh God, to carry out our assignment, give us what we need, oh God, to walk in our kingdom purpose, give us what we need, oh God, that we can go into all the world, we create your gospel, laying hands on the sick, seeing them now in power, give us what we need, God, that we might teach them to observe your ways, give us what we need, God, that signs and miracles and wonders will follow us, give us what we need, give us what we need, we're open tonight, we're open tonight, we're open tonight. Come on, throw your hands up, begin to open your mouth. Come on, release a sound all over this room. A sound that the instrument cannot produce for you. Come on, release a sound in this room. God's getting ready to breathe on us afresh. And when he breathes on us this time, when he breathes in us this time, he's giving you what you need. He's giving you what you need to do battle. He's giving you what you need to stand in power to decree things that shall be established. Though you open up your mouth, release a sound unto God. Release a sound unto God. Release a sound unto God. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, Zion. Come on up higher. Come on up higher. Come on up higher. Come on up higher. Oh, Rama Mama Mandia Sabaya. Oh, Rebe Mama Babaya. God, this is what we came for. We came to get in your face tonight. Oh, Mama Mama Baba Shea. We came to be filled tonight. Oh, Mama Baba 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 Shea. We came to receive instruction. We came to receive direction. We came to receive strategy. We came, God, for a download. While our hearts are living. While our mouths are open, pour into your people now. Give us God wisdom. Give us God strategy to navigate this now hour. Give us God wisdom. Give us God strategy. Download the treasures of heaven. Download it into your people. That God, we won't lose ourselves in this hour. That we won't, God, lose our focus. That we, God, won't be taken off course by the things. God that are happening around us but while we're posturing at your feet download into our spirit give us God the next move instruct us God in the next step we're to take make it clear to us make your will clear tonight make your will clear tonight make your will clear tonight come on release the sound come on Father, we thank you today that while we're postured before you and you're pouring into us, God, thank you, God, for what you're downloading right now. I thank you, God, that as we are postured, we are postured now as intercessors. We are postured, God, as those who don't just come praying on our own behalf. But, Father, in this moment, we come now. We come, God, bringing our brothers and sisters. We come, God, bringing our families. God, you've given us access to your throne. God, we won't be selfish with the access. But God, we pray in the name of Jesus. God, teach us now. Teach us how to win our loved ones. Teach us how to win our co-workers. Teach us how to win a community. Teach us, God, how to win a region to you. Pour it into us tonight. Give us your wisdom. Give us your heart, God. 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 That 
that we can win God those that others have rejected those that others have overlooked that we could win them God all races all cultures all ages all backgrounds give us your heart Lord give us your wisdom that we might win them I need somebody right here right here in this moment open your mouth and release a sound for souls people that you may know and you may not in this moment I need you to cry out for souls and I decree and declare that the souls that you're crying out for God will give you the boldness to minister to them God will give you the wisdom to win them for he that winning souls is wise give us what we need Come on, a soul ain't important to you. Release a sound for the souls. It could be your loved one. It could be your spouse. It could be your parents. It could be your children. It could be your neighbor. But cry out for the souls. And as you cry out tonight, I decree and declare that the Father will give you insight. That the spirit of discernment will be an operation in your life. That the word of knowledge, that the word of wisdom will be an operation in your life. That God will use you to win them. God awaken the evangelists in this room not God just for them to stand and preach not God them for them just to be performers but awaken the evangelists in this room who will go out and gather who will go out and gather who will go into the highway who will go into the hedges who will go into the hood and win them awaken the evangelist tonight God give us a desire give us a burden for souls tonight give us a burden for souls tonight give us a burden for souls tonight make us sensitive God to where they are when we encounter them let us see beyond the flesh but by your spirit reveal now the secret things reveal now the hidden things that they might be won into your kingdom don't get quiet in the room this is where we press this is our assignment this is our mandate I know we ought to pray always for the saints but we don't just pray for the saints we pray for the world we pray that a nation is impacted that God will send now that he will send laborers that laborer could be locked up in your sound that laborer could be locked up in your sound that laborer could be locked up Father, we thank you tonight. And as we are here crying, we thank you for those that shall be saved. We cry unto Jesus. You told us in your word, Father, that if I am lifted, I will draw all men. So we cry out to Jesus. Jesus, we lift you high. Jesus, we lift you high. Jesus, we lift you high. Draw them. Let them hear the sound. God, throughout this community, let them hear the sound let them hear the sound let the sound of heaven permeate God the walls let your glory father let it rest over the house let them see your glory and let them hear the sound God that they will come God that they will come God that they will come Come on, push right here. Come on. Come on, some of y'all getting tired. Let's go. Let's go. This is a year you go up in prayer. This is a year that you go up in prayer. This is a year you go deeper in prayer. God's getting ready to increase your stamina in prayer. Open up your mouth and release a sound in the room. Oh, my shakata. Oh, my 
We're crying out, God. We're crying out for this nation. This nation, God, that's turned from you. God, we're crying out for the nation. We're crying out for our region, our city. We're crying out, have mercy, Lord. 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 Do it for the righteous sake. Have mercy, Lord. Do it for the righteous sake. Have mercy, Lord. We cry mercy. We cry mercy. Mercy over the White House. Mercy over Congress. Mercy over state legislators. We cry mercy. Mercy over governors. Mercy over mayors. Mercy over city officials. Mercy, God. Have mercy. Do it for the righteous sake. Do it for the sake of the righteous. Do it for the sake of those who are in the earth. Who love you and honor your name. Do it for the sake of those who are in the earth. God who represent your kingdom. We cry tonight for mercy. Have mercy on men and women everywhere. God, those who rejected your word. Those who rejected your truth. Those who rejected God. The precepts and concepts of your word. Have mercy. Mercy today. Give them another chance. Give them another chance. Touch their hearts. Touch their hearts and their minds. Deliver their hearts and their minds. Give them God a clear moment of consciousness to hear you, to see you, to feel you, and to respond. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy on them, God. Save and deliver. Do it in the nation, God. Let the Bible break out in the land. 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 Have mercy, oh God. That will bring them to the foot of the cross. Have mercy, oh God. That will bring them to the altar. Have mercy. Father, we thank you now, God, that you're moving in the earth. God, it may not look like it, but God, I've called to my mind your word, and you said that the government would be upon his shoulders. God, Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you now, God, that everything in the earth, everything in the land, it rests on his shoulders. So we will not fear. We will not be discouraged. We will not draw back. We trust now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you tonight, God, that our victory is in him. We thank you tonight, God, that everything in the earth, everything that concerns us, everything that concerns this land, thank you that it rests on his shoulders. We trust the shoulders in whom we stand on tonight. So, Father, we say now, have your way in the land. Show forth your power. Shout of your majesty, pour out of your spirit. Let the unbeliever know, call of your man to believe that you are the only God, that you are the only God, that you are the only God, that you are the only. You told us in your word that every knee would bow, every tongue would confess that Jesus is Lord. So we praise your name, Jesus. We call on your name, Jesus. We say, have your way, Jesus. Move in the earth, Jesus. Save in the land, Jesus. Do it for your glory, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. And because we have the name above every name, we have the strong name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that whatever we decree, God, as we are postured in prayer, we have it tonight. In Jesus' name, this is what I need you all to do. You got 60 seconds. And I need you to begin to open your mouth in faith.
faith. And I need you to make some declarations. I do it in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on, decree that thing and it shall be established. Come on, stand in your kingdom authority tonight. Decree that strong homes. They gotta come down. They gotta come down. Principalities are being spared by your declaration. Strongholds are coming down. Strongholds are coming down. Principalities tonight. They'll be inspired by your declaration. Open up your mouth. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Father, we decree and declare right now that not only shall your power be realized in the earth, but we pray to God that it shall be realized in us. So, Father, in this moment, we decree and declare that land comes to us, that property comes to us. In the name of Jesus, do it according to the word. You said, God, that the wrath of the wicked was laid up for us. So we decree and declare now that the new rock transfers, that the new deed transfers. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the spirit of our influence, let it be increased, let it be increased in ministry and in the marketplace. Give us new land, give us new territory. We decree it now. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Wealth and riches, huh? they're in my house. Huh? Wealth and riches, huh? they're in my house. Huh? I decree it right now. Huh? Wealth and riches. More than enough. Huh? It's in my house. Huh? In Jesus. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I am whole. Huh? is whole. My body is whole. My spirit is whole. It's my declaration. I am free. And he who the sun sets free is free indeed. I'm free from fear. I'm free from depression. I'm free from anxiety. I'm free from loneliness. I'm free from no self-esteem. I'm free from promiscuity. Open your mouth and declare it in Jesus' name. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I feel God in the room. Open your mouth. I would not be held hostage to my yesterday. You would not ride over my head. I am free tonight. I am free tonight. I am free tonight. Free to become what he designed and purposed my life to be. I'm free in Jesus. I am loved of God. I decree it tonight. I am the chosen of God. I am his vessel in the earth. I am the anointing of God. I am bold in God. I decree it in Jesus' name. Come on here. He's going to back up what you say. The word said that he will establish whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth. I decree unto you tonight that all of heaven is backing you. All of heaven is backing you. The host of heaven is backing you. I am strong in the Lord. And in the power of his life, I have his strength because I decree it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm victorious because I decree it. God is for me. Who can be against me? I walk in total victory because I decree it. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and say something! 
prosper. I'm called to prosper. I'm called to prosper. Rama shekata, soko to rama ba. Yeta ta 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 na, rama ba ma ma yo. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. He's in the room. 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 And he's watching over his word to perform it. He's watching over his word to perform it. He's watching over his word. There shall be a performance. There shall be a performance. There shall.
maximum of my time. Pastor, if I may, I, I, I'm telling y'all, and I know some of y'all think, y'all probably think I'm going to look crazy. I'm not. But I need y'all to hear me. Y'all hold me, and when we come back, I need y'all to come back strong, all right? Because we can ready to go all the way in. Some of you are like, you ever heard of that, that, that edge? Where? You ever seen in the movies? Um, I'm about to tell my age, the old Superman and them kind of hero movies, James Bond, that kind of stuff, where there may be a vehicle, Fast and Furious, some of y'all know about that, where the vehicle would be hanging on the edge, and if they move just enough, they would try to be real still, because they understood that if we move, this vehicle is going to tip and we going over the edge. Can I tell some of y'all tonight who are a little nervous? I need you to begin to move in the Holy Ghost because God wants you to tip over the edge. And when you go over the edge, the edge is not to destroy you. The edge this time is to move you out of trusting yourself to do everything your own way and in your own strength. When you tip and go over the edge this time, by way the sound that comes out of your mouth, that's you saying to God, whatever you have in mind for me this year, whatever you want to give me this year, whatever you plan to do this year, God, I am open. I need you for the next 60 seconds. Open up your mouth and go over the edge. Go over the edge. Go over the edge. Go, 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 go. Get everything who wants to give you tonight. Get everything who wants to give you tonight. Go, 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 go. 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 Go. Take 60 more seconds, and I need you to break. 
thank you. Pastor, I will say to you exactly what I hear in my ear. The Lord said there's going to be quick and rapid expansion. Quick, rapid. That, that's, that's, he's saying the same thing twice because quick and rapid ain't an English teacher. But they, they, don't they about mean the same thing? The Lord said quick, rapid expansion. Quick, rapid expansion. I wish somebody would praise him for quick, rapid expansion. Let nobody cause you to despise your youth. Don't let nobody cause you to despise your years in ministry. I hear the Holy Ghost say, I have set my seal of approval on this house. Oh, 
Because there's more I'm still here Because there's more I'm still here Because there's more I'm still here Because there's more Would you just raise your hands and say I'm still here Shout right now for the more that's coming. Come on. Woo! Shout for the more that's coming. There's more. You made it out on purpose. You made it through on purpose. There's more. 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 Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Pastor Latoya, thank you so much. Would you clap your hands for the gift of God? Come on, church, would you celebrate and honor the gift of God? Pastor, I prophesy that to you. There is so much more. There is so much more. And on my way here, I sensed by the Lord that God was saying to you that he was getting ready to open up another level of language. There is a language barrier to what's next but God's getting ready to unlock the language to get you to what's next thank you Lord for the fresh language that's coming to the woman of God she'll know, she'll wake up and she'll know the answers she needs, I thank you that she'll wake up and she'll know it's connecting her to what's next, thank you Lord Give God a praise for the woman of God again. One more time. Glory to God. Listen, would you do me a favor? Would you sow into what God's doing tonight? Um, there are three ways that you can do that. I'm not going to labor the time. Would you sow and invest into the move of God tonight? Would you sow with me a $20 offering? Glory to God. You can do that by Cash App. You can do that online at presencechurch.life. Click on the Give tab. Um, you can sow there. You can give in person. Cash. Come on, whatever way. I want everybody to sow into this. 
thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you, Lord, for the more. Thank you. There's so much more, so much more. Come on, you offer buckets, please. Thank you. There is more, more. There is more. There is more. are not an answer. You're alive because there's more. My God. Ooh, I'm trying to hold myself. I feel like running right now. Won't you just shout to the neighbor beside you, there's more. Come on, tell them there's more. There's more. There's more than what you've seen. I know you've experienced a lot, but there is more. I know you've seen the depth, but there is more. I know you've experienced some highs with God, but I've got good news. There's so much more. My God. Come on. Somebody's been stuck, but that thing just got unstuck. Yeah, he just unlocked it. Shout, there's more. Come on. Oh. All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want you to get your seed in your hand. Come on in. Well. We got a praiser on the floor. And we don't let anybody dance alone. You got 30 seconds. Come on and praise him in this room.
just point in the direction of the man with the Mickey Mouse and I want you to shout to him it's not over yet I don't I don't know what you in right now I don't know what you facing right now what's his name TJ I don't know what it is you in but God wants you to know it's not over until God has the final say and he hasn't had the final say yet I need somebody to help me praise him with this young man that God can resurrect a miracle in his life. Oh yes, oh yes, God can resurrect the world for miracle. I don't know what you're going through, but it ain't over. It's not over. It's not over. I need to lay my hands on him. He needs a miracle. I don't even know him, but he needs a miracle. You need a miracle.
I want to ask you a question. What will your response be when he comes back with a miracle in his hand? What will your response be? Tell them a little bit about what's going on. Yeah. How many believe God for healing tonight?
call your situation out. Don't you wait for somebody to call your sickness out. I will raise my hands right now. And I begin to receive it. Hold on. No, 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 Shonda. I will keep stress off of you. In the name of Jesus. You won't tie your stress. Oh, stress for my mind. I will keep stress in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shonda, I'm out there. I'm out so torn. I'm out there. I'm out there. Oh, God lifts every heavy burden. God lifts every heavy burden. God removes every yoke. Oh, God heals you eternally. God does something in the heart tonight. You won't die your stress. You won't die. We curse it in the name of Jesus. When I see you, unwrap yourself around the heart. In the name of Jesus, oh, oh my, ha, 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 the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. I gotta say to you that I hear the Lord say, I feel like what I sense is the devil's been trying to make you think you're gonna have a stroke. And I come to curse that. I come to curse that thought. I come to curse what the enemy thought he would try to implant in your heart and your head. And I'm here to tell you, you won't stroke out. You won't stroke out. You won't have a heart attack. You will not die in your sleep. I feel the Lord. I feel like I have the word of the Lord. You will not die in your sleep. I curse that word. Yeah. The devil is a liar. But you shall live and not die. And you will declare the works of the Lord. I need a praise right now to shout for her future. Oh, you ain't shouting. I said shout for her future. The trouble lost the day. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Woo! You are defeated. Ah, oh, no. You got to go. 
more time, give him a praise right now. Glory to God. One more praise for everything in here tonight. Come on, if you believe you want some battles, you believe you got the attention of heaven, come on, lift up a shout. If you can let go, victory is going to be away from you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for being with us tonight. We are having altar nights every first Thursday. And uh, we're going to be at it again next month. I think it's the February the 4th. I think that's what it is. It. And we're going to have Pastor Ashley McNair with us from Mount Moriah Community Church in Raleigh, North Carolina. And she's going to be with us praying and interceding. And so I want you to make plans to be with us. This is for the region. It's not just for our church, but invite other believers to come. And we're going to call out to God because we believe that when we pray, God responds. We've got this promise, and I didn't say it tonight because I, I lose it every time I say it, but when the righteous cry. I'm trying to leave it alone. But when the righteous cry, the Lord will deliver. And I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it go. Because there's been some righteous crying tonight. <laughs> And when it's all over, when it's all said and done, deliverance is our portion. When it's all said and done. All right. Let's pray one more time, Father. Thank you for what you've done tonight. You are so awesome. I pray that you would strengthen the woman of God that poured out tonight. Thank you for the anointing that is rich. Lastly, God, my request is that the spirit of prayer would come upon this generation. And that, God, we would pray beyond this moment, pray beyond this night, and that we'll catch ourselves praying day and night. Thank you, Lord, that the spirit of prayer will grip us again. We'll, we'll be known as people who get answers because we pray. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you.